Welcome to the project. This project is cloud automation with Ansible. Yes, we're going to automate cloud tasks by using Ansible. Let's see the scenario and understand when this would be required. Okay, so let's say you have a AWS cloud management team and their job is to deploy set up infrastructure on the cloud. So any new project comes in, this team is going to be in charge of setting up the infrastructure, deploying the stack on the cloud and making all the regular changes as and when required. Before we implement any project on AWS cloud, we ideally set a VPC, right? So this team will be in charge of setting up a VPC on AWS cloud to provide the security and high availability to the project. And also this team is getting a regular request for deployment. So let's say you have project A where you need to set up some VPC, then you have project B there also you need to set up some VPC, you have project C. So like that many such requests, regular requests they get. Now, as you know, VPC consists of many moving parts. There are so many things when we are setting up a VPC. You have subnets, NAT gateways, internet gateways, route table, NACL rules, security group, instances in that, elastic IP, and so many more things. And not to mention the bastion host, which it's also called as a jump server. Mostly this jump server or bastion host are provided or used to have an SSH connection to your instances in private VPC or even RDP connections. So we can say it's a single point of entry from a public network into your private network. Now, if you're doing such thing, there's always a chance of making a human error, a typographical error, or some configuration misfire. Because of this, or these human errors, you may have a non-functional or an exposed VPC, which is exposed publicly on the internet. Also not to mention, managing all these things is a time consuming task. First is the setup, then regular changes. Right? So if everything is happening through console or even CLI, it's really difficult to track all the changes. So in order to save our time and track all the changes, you need to have configuration management of VPC. We need to have a completely automated setup so we can avoid human errors and any changes we are going to do in the VPC will be managed centrally. So there should be a centralized change management system. Now, if we are automating all this, we'll be doing it through probably some code. In Ansible, we have playbooks written in YAML format and it's text and we can version control it. So we can track who made the change, when the change was made, right? So we can use gate and do version controlling of our code. So we'll have infrastructure as a code. Now, these are some quick benefits that I'm talking about, but this really gives many more benefits. We know for sure CICD adds business value. But also anything that you automate, especially in cloud, also adds a lot of business values. Okay, so let's see some statistics now. Now, as per statistics, 71% of the organizations who are doing cloud automation have found they have 10% more revenue growth. 84% of the company have said, yes, they have seen increased revenue and also they have lowered their operations cost. 81% have become more innovative. So when you have things automated, you don't need to be doing tasks manually. You get more time to find more innovative solutions. And 84% said they have become more agile. And that's what we're looking in DevOps really. We need processes to be more agile, more quick. So cloud automation sounds cool, but also it adds a lot of business value and that is as per the statistics and numbers don't lie. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do, what tools we're going to use in this project. So we're going to do, we're going to use Ansible to automate AWS VPC setup and also Bastion host. So you'll have a bunch of Ansible playbooks that will set up VPC on AWS cloud and also will have a bastion host which will be used to log in. 
After this, there, there will be another Ansible project where we'll use this VPC setup and deploy our entire web application stack, the vProfile web application stack that we've been setting up manually so far. Now we'll automatically, automatically set up that entire stack by using Ansible. That's in the next project. In this project, we'll lay out the infrastructure for it automatically. So let's make it happen. So before I show you all the code that we are going to use and we're going to have really a lot of code in that, before I show you that, before we get into that, let's see the architectural design of what exactly we're going to do. So join me in the architectural design. So starting in the architecture, we have the playbooks. We'll have some bunch of playbooks and these playbooks will be using some variables which we're going to define in VARS file and some Ansible configuration. This playbook will be powered with a lot of modules that we're going to use to set up the VPC. These modules are going to use the world famous Python Boto, which will make an API call to our AWS cloud account. First thing it will do is it is going to set up a VPC, a VPC that will have subnets in two zones. We'll, we'll be using two zones. So zone one will have some subnet, zone two will have some other subnets. First to start with in the zone, we will have a public subnet in first zone. Second zone will have one more public subnet. These pub public subnet will route the request to internet gateway by using their route table. So they'll have a route table, every subnet, and this route table is going to route the request to internet gateway. And then the traffic can go on the internet or can be coming from the internet. We'll also have private subnet in both the zones. One zone will have one private subnet, another zone will have another private subnet. And again, there will be a route table, which is going to route all the request, outgoing request to NAT gateway. Okay, let's see again in the full view. So a VPC distributed in two zones, zone one and zone two, one public subnet in zone one, one public subnet in another zone. Private subnet also will be distributed like, like that among two zones. Every subnet will have a route table. Public subnet will route the request to internet gateway and private subnet will route the request to NAT gateway. And then NAT gateway can throw the traffic to internet gateway through the route table of public subnet. Also not to mention, we'll have a bastion host, a jump server, which will be in a public subnet. So we can access it from the internet. And then that bastion host can have connection to private EC2 instances, instances which are in private subnet. And there'll be of course a security group on the bastion host. So this entire setup we are going to do through our playbooks. So we run the playbook. Playbook is going to use some modules, some variables, use Python Boto, connect to AWS cloud, set up the VPC with four subnets, each having route table, internet gateway and NAT gateway for public subnet and private subnet respectively. And also finally a bastion host, which will be a single point of entry into our VPC from the internet. So this is what we are going to do. We'll log into our AWS account. We'll create an EC2 instance to run our Ansible playbook. And we're going to select a region which has three zones. That's not mandatory. You can do whatever we're doing in any region. We can set up VPC in any region, but just to follow along the project, we're going to select a region that has three zones. We're going to install Ansible in that EC2 instance where we set up. We're going to install Boto, that is the dependency to do the AWS cloud automation. We're going to set up an EC2 role for Ansible. So Ansible EC2 instance can connect to all the AWS services like VPC and all authentication. So we're not going to use access key and secret key. We're going to use roles, which is much more safer option. If you're already on AWS, then we'll create a project directory in our instance, EC2 instance, and we're going to execute a sample task to create a key pair. Now, if you have never done cloud automation with Ansible, you're using Ansible to do system automation. There is a little difference in doing cloud automation. So uh, while we're doing this task, a simple task or a sample task to create a key pair, you will see the differences. Once you get that, then you can follow along all with all the tasks. We'll, we'll create two variables file. One will have VPC information. One will have bastion host information. 
So we're not really going to give static entries in our playbook. We'll fetch that from variable file. Then we'll write our main playbook, which is to set up the VPC stack. This playbook will set up VPC, subnets, internet gateway, uh, route table, everything. And then we are going to write another playbook, which is going to set up a bastion host in the public subnet of our VPC with right rules. We're going to use a site.yml file then and we'll put entries of both the playbooks. So we will finally execute site.yml which will in turn execute VPC setup playbook and bastion setup playbook. Once we are done setting up our entire stack, we should have this entire VPC with four subnets, route table, NAT gateway and internet gateway. And also the bastion host. So what are you waiting for? Let's dive in.